Now that we've deployed our first workflow to Pipedream, we'll be able to monitor it directly in the Pipedream dashboard. The workflow inspector gives us a complete overview of each of your workflow's executions. You can do things like view the performance metrics, see individual data produced by steps, and even view the logs of each one of your workflow executions. Starting from the Pipedream dashboard, we'll navigate to the workflow section. And here we can see the workflow we created from our first lesson. Let's open it up. Welcome to the workflow inspector. At the very top, you'll see the name of the workflow and its current state, active or paused. And on the right-hand side, you can see the trigger and the individual steps that comprise the workflow. On the left-hand side is our event log. It will show the individual execution runs and the events that triggered them. For now, it's saying it's waiting for events, which means it's not been triggered yet. Let's change that. Our workflow is triggered by HTTP request to this URL. So I'm going to copy it, and then I'm going to head over to hopscotch.pipedream.com to test this workflow. I'm going to paste the URL into this request, and then I've gone ahead and I've set up some sample data like the first name, last name, and email of a mock customer, for example. I'm going to click send to send a post request to this URL, which will trigger the workflow. Heading back to our workflow, I can see on the left-hand side that the new event has been received. Clicking individual events in the workflow logs will show the results of that particular execution. For example, let's click on this particular event. At the very top, we can see that the workflow finished in about three seconds, and we can even open up more details, which tells us things like the exact time that the workflow started and the exact time it ended, as well as which version was running, etc. Underneath these details, we can see the trigger and the steps beneath. The trigger is automatically populated with each of the data points it was given at the time of that execution. So if we open up the event body, we can see the exact data we passed it from our hopscotch HTTP request. Just to really drive this point home, let's go back to hopscotch and let's change the customer that's coming in. We're gonna change it, their name to Weston. We'll say Weston Pierce, and we will send this HTTP request. We received a response from our workflow, and now we can see a brand new event was added to our events log in the inspector. We'll click on that new event, and we can see that the name corresponds with the new HTTP request name that we sent the workflow. Not only can we use the event logs to inspect individual workflow executions, we can use it to replay and delete events. For example, if we hover over one of our events and we open up this menu, we can click replay. A replayed event will re-execute your workflow and you can tell it's a replayed event by a special icon in the upper right-hand portion of the event. We can also delete individual events through the same menu, or we can delete all of the events in the event log with the Delete All button.